Hey ho guys, it's me again. Um, hope you've all been well. I'm going to do a really quick beer review tonight. And the beer I'm going to review is from, is this one. White Water Hoppelhammer from Big Banana, uh, Big Banana Snack of the Woods, I think. Well, I could be wrong. So stand correct. It's from Northern Ireland. So Paul is here and Big Bananas Neck of the Woods. Uh, just Northern Ireland in general, I mean. Okay. So this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, I've had a few from, from Whitewater Brewery here and there in the past. And they've all been meh. They've all had a sort of a weird kind of a funky flavor to them. And actually, Big Banana made a comment um, on a post that I did. And basically, he said, yeah, why, all white water beers in general have a kind of a unique funk that can best be described as dank hops, I believe he said. And I get what he guess what he's saying. The nicest one that I had from them was, it was not spectacular, it was just... Quite a good beer was Titanic Ale, um, but you can't get that down ne this neck of the woods. I, I I had to travel a wee bit for that. Uh, so this one's Whitewater Hoppel Hammer, triple hopped IPA. It's six point zero percent ABV, uh, and it's not the ABV that's a bit out of my comfort zone. It's the hops, because I'm not a hop guy. So this is basically an American. Uh, triple hopped American IPA which would not be my style of beer to be honest with you um, a triple hopped IPA packed with American hops resinous with hop oils and fruit aromas full bodied rich and complex white water brewery nestles at the foot of Ireland's famous mountains of Morn and handcrafts beers without compromise using the finest ingredients Brewing since 1996 with water from the Moor Mountains and yeast from the old Belfast Brewery. That's right, yeah. Whitewater Brewery, Farty Tully Frame Road, Kilkeel, County Down, Northern Ireland. Uh, BT344RZ. So that's her. So a 6% ABV American, triple hopped American IPA. For a guy that in general doesn't like uh, American style beers that tend to hop the shit, they tend to hop the shit on, that just doesn't suit me. Not that there's anything wrong with them. Shall we crack this open? It's been out of the fridge about five minutes, so it's really well chilled. I'm getting a massive whack of hops into the nose. Don't ask me what the hell they are. Getting a lot of citrus, but like peeled and a slight bit of piss. That's about it. And then getting hints of that familiar funkiness from Whitewater Brewery. So it's going into a Guinness glass. <laughs> I don't know, would that be considered sacrilege or what? It's pouring quite cloudy. I actually didn't look to see if this was bottle condition, but yeah, it is. Oh, baby. Not anymore. Oh, yeah. Now that the bottle's empty, or practically empty, and all the fruit aromas are really coming up out of it. Loads of citrus fruit, stone fruit, like passion fruit, big punchy fruit aromas. So there she is, guys. Quite, quite. A uh, little bit of chill haze. Um, relatively clear. A little bit cloudy. As I said, there might have been some yeast in the bottom of that. 
Not a hundred percent sure. It doesn't say it. It certainly looked like it when it was pouring. Uh, very, very loosely packed head, uh, and it's dissipating very, very quickly. That head head is not going to stick around at all. So on the nose. Huge toffee caramel notes. Massive. Big, strong, punchy malt aroma. Getting slight hints of the, the fruity notes that I was getting out of the bottle, but it's not as strong out of the glass. So we'll go in for the taste. Let's launch it. And I couldn't find any information on the IBUs with this. When I saw Triple Hopped, I assumed it was going to be really high IBUs. And I was going to go. But I have to say, that's a damn smooth beer. Straight off the bat, um, I'm not picking up any great bitterness at all, which is extremely surprising. I, I fully expect, expected to get mouth puckering bitterness from this um, there's slight hints of bitterness slight up front dissipate very quickly but that lovely rich malty sweetness is really up at the forefront like a rich creamy toffee and guys There's no way you could tell this is a 6% beer. As a, a friend of mine in Canada would say, this is a very, very dangerous beer. He's French. That's a lovely, lovely beer. I'm kind of surprised to be honest with you. I didn't think I would be enjoying this as much as what I am. It's kind of light to medium body. Um, head's not sticking around, but you know, as you can see, there's quite good lacing there, if that means anything. But it's the lovely, rich, creamy, toffee, maltiness, malt sweetness. That's what's really present for me. I'm not picking up much in the way of hops, drinking it. Slight bitterness up front. <clears throat> Little hints of um, some citrus, citrusy fruitness, but way more on the aroma than what I'm getting in the flavor. But it's that rich, creamy, toffee, malt sweetness that's dominant in this. Light to medium body, extremely well carbonated as you can see. All in all, a lovely looking beer and a lovely tasting beer. Uh, that's Whitewater Hopple Hammer, triple hopped, uh, American triple hopped IPA, 6% ABV. Um, and I think that bottle was about 3 euros 50 in my local Dunn store, so whatever that translates into. Um, would I go out and buy it again? Probably not, it's a little bit, wee bit on the expensive side, uh, I think for what it is. Um, but definitely a thoroughly enjoyable beer and I encourage you if you see it, especially if you're into your American IPAs that you try it, it's probably a little bit on the lighter side for an American IPA, uh, as in punchiness and in your face. Just letting you know. So that's it guys. White water, triple hopped IPA. I'd give that a solid 7 out of 10. See you again guys, long go forward.